All right, here we are. Um, last week for the video blog, at least with the show. Um, can uh, I guess down and out right now, a little depressed. Uh, but we'll get into some positive things here in a little bit. As you already saw, the uh, fight didn't go as planned. Um, you know, Dodson's a, he's a talented guy, but I, I at that time and, and still to this day feel like I'm the better fighter, um, that I should be in the finale. But it didn't work out. Um, you know, it was a long six weeks, cutting all that weight three times, just ready to get home. That was the, in, in real terms, that was the last day we were in the house. I mean, literally after that fight, we went back to the house, packed up our stuff, and uh, got our personal belongings back, our cell phones. We could finally call. You know, I finally got to call home to my wife and son, and, and you know, I flew out the next morning. So, just a lot of emotions. Um, I was definitely ready to get home. Um, but the goal all along was to win that fight, and unfortunately, I came up a little short. Uh, he caught me. He came out fast the first round, um, hit me with some decent shots, I guess. Uh, I got a bloody nose early, um, weathered a storm. He started slowing down. I kept coming forward, putting the pressure on him, um, hit him with some big shots, ended up getting a takedown. Um, first round was pretty close, but... Uh, I went out the second round confident. I, I thought that I was going to start wearing him down, and, and, and then from there on out, it was going to go my way. And, you know, unfortunately, I got caught right in the button, and, and credit to him. He finished fast, coming up with a hammer fist. Um, you know, it is what it is. And I don't want to make excuses like I cut too much weight or, you know, it's just the whole experience was rough. Um, and I would love to love to get another chance to fight him down the road. So... Hopefully, um, I'll win this weekend, and, and I see him losing in the finale to TJ, so uh, I'll be asking for that rematch, that's for sure. Uh, you know, I guess we can't really beat around the bush. Real terms, that was uh, July the 14th was that fight, so a lot has happened since then. I've, I've grown as a fighter, as a person, and uh, just real excited for this weekend. Uh, right now, you probably all don't know the matchups, but uh, I can kind of talk about them now. So every single person from the show, the 16 guys that made the house, will be fighting Saturday night. Um, you know, most, 99% of them will all be fighting another guy from the house that they haven't fought in the past, obviously. And uh, except for one, Akira, uh, suffered an injury, so he's out. I'm not sure if they'll bring him back or whatever, but whatever. Um, all the guys are fighting again. Um, so I'm excited for that, see everyone again, and, and just get another opportunity to fight in the UFC. But the big news is, is that I will be the only fight that is not in the finale uh, that's guaranteed to be on Spike TV. So make sure y'all tune in, and uh, Saturday night I'll kick things off. I'll be the first fight in the Octagon Saturday night, uh, 9 Eastern, 8 Central. All my Ohio and Texas fans, make sure you're on Spike TV. Uh, I'll be the first fight right at 8 o'clock. So get ready. Um, I guess I should share who I'm fighting. I'm fighting Louis Godinell. I guess probably a lot of you people don't know names. Uh, he's the green-haired guy who uh, my buddy Dustin fought inside the house. Um, beat him up pretty pretty bad. Uh, you guys may have remembered from a couple weeks ago, uh, a lot of my training partners here got injured in Texas. So uh, I actually spent the last week in Virginia. Um, I was out there... Friday night to the following Thursday. I got back Thanksgiving morning, um, training with him, getting ready for this fight. He's fighting as well. He's fighting uh, John Prince Albert uh, Saturday night as well. So we both, you know, we're great training partners for each other, uh, pushed each other hard. He's got a great camp out there, Disciple MA. They just opened a new gym, so it was awesome. And they welcomed me in. It was great training. So here it is, you know. It's, 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 it's hard to talk about the negatives and, and you know, obviously – me getting knocked out, and it, it's it's embarrassing a little bit. It's, it's depressing, but, you know, I've got a task at hand, and, and the UFC contract's on the line for me. I go out here and do what I'm supposed to do and, and run through Lewis like I plan to. I'll be in the UFC for a long time and, and just keep rattling off wins, and, and this, this road isn't over, that's for sure. I'm going to keep on uh, training hard every day, keep getting better, and keep winning fights in the UFC. I'm not, I'm not going back to the small shows. I'm here to stay, so... Stay tuned, guys. Uh, thank you so much for all your support throughout the season. It's pretty brutal. Uh, you know, most, most of the 
last couple of weeks I've heard nothing but comments about how you can't wait for me to beat up Dotson, so it's a little depressing. It's hard to, you know. But again, that was months ago. I'm kind of over it. You got to be I'm just ready for ready for Lewis. Um, we'll see how ready he is. I'm going to put the pressure on him. I'm going to break him. Uh, again, just tune in Saturday night, and uh, let's get this done. Thanks for your support for the season, and uh, I'll be doing another blog after my fight. Thank you all so much.